Hi everyone, it's Mike here. Thanks for joining me for another Make It video. Right, today we're going to look at this beautiful vintage um, wedding engagement anniversary card. And this is from our Vintage Treasures CD. Um, again, another one that's been out for a little while. Uh, sorry about the glare there. And again, this is jam packed full of those beautiful sort of vintage-y, shabby chic um, images that can be used for many, many occasions. Now this particular card set I'm using the With All Our Love sentiment, but I've, put, I've chosen this because of the, the wedding kind of themed topper, which is there. But there are interchangeable ones which I will show you on the sheet once you've printed it out. So you don't have to use this one just for weddings. And as I said, this CD can be used for a lot of multiple occasions, birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, engagements, you name it, even in sympathy. So, and it's beautiful. Absolutely, when you look at that doily effect on the back. Isn't that absolutely stunning? And that um, is actually printed on vellum. So the topper there is printed on vellum and the main backing paper there is printed on vellum. And on this particular one, I've also included a vellum insert two so if you want to see how i've constructed that card then stay tuned and i will show you right now okay so from the cd i've already gone ahead and printed off the green kit that you saw earlier so these are the two sheets that you get in that kit so you have your backing panels you have all your little toppers your insert panel and your sentiments and you have additional little toppers that you can add on if you want to interchange the picture that's on there. Um, I have the main backing um, paper panel on the front and the element that goes across the middle. So I've then got that bit that I can put over the top if I want to decoupage that too. So, but as you saw on the sample at the beginning, uh, I've also incorporated some vellum elements. So I've gone ahead and printed the same sheets off again on vellum. So let me just see if I can, there you go, you can see my hand through that one. So again, I can incorporate those vellum uh, elements that you saw on the sample, the doily and the, the topper and that kind of thing. But I've also printed off the insert that you saw too. So again, we can cut that out and get that stuck on the inside on that vellum. So it, all nice and sort of floaty and very kind of ethereal and very, very beautiful. So all I need to do now is to go off and cut all these pieces out and then we can start the construction. So I'll be back in a little while. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut out all of my bits and pieces that I'm going to need. I have my standard six by six craft card base that um, I've just taken from one of the kits or one of the, the packs of the craft cards that we sell on the shop or in the shop. I've cut out all my bits and pieces, so I've got my um, piece of cream card that I've cut at 144mm by 144mm. That's going to provide me with a nice few millimetres border all the way around the edge of the card. So that's going to create that um, white frame or that cream frame. When I place the um, like brown paper, wrinkly paper over the top, and I'll have that lovely white border and then I have my vellum doily sheet that I'm going to adhere down over the top of that. So that's going to create, now as you can see, each layer gets gradually smaller. Now all I do is I just create the mats four millimeters smaller all the way around. So I know that I've got two millimeter border all the way around and that I think is an effective um, mat and layer border for a card like this. So I also have my main topper that we're going to stick down onto the front there. Now I have with me a variety of foam pads. I also have some wet glue that I'm going to use for um, sticking the backing papers down. And obviously the foam pads are for raising up the main focal points. And I've also gone ahead and printed out, as you saw, the image 
from the centre here on the vellum too. So that is also going to get stuck down over the top but not raised up. Um, I believe you will see the foam pads underneath if you do that. It's thick enough not to show through so you probably will be able to get away with it but you can disguise it on top if you want to by adding a couple of extra pearls. Depends which way you want to do it. Okay and then I have my sentiment again cut out. Now this one is quite intricate but you don't have to cut out the entire thing if you don't want to. If you don't like fussy cutting then you could always use a stamp sentiment whichever one you want to do. It's your card when all said and done. And then I have my insert that I've already cut out and pre-scored ready. Now obviously I haven't gone through and shown you all the steps of cutting out because that can take some time and can be slightly boring. And you've also already seen me in previous videos um, go around the edges of my um, decoupage elements with a distress marker to hide those white lines. So I didn't really want to show you doing that again. But for this one, um, I just used a sympathetic colour to the brown and I chose brushed corduroy this time. So, and I've done that also to the vellum and I've also done it to the sentiment. So we have everything we need. So all we have to do now is to put it all together. So let's do that now. So I'll just move those foam pads to one side and just do it layer by layer. So I'll move those out of shot there and then we'll start with our cream cardstock. So all I'm going to do, and I'm doing this as a um, front opening tent card, so it will be this way with the, with the insert going that way. Now normally I put the insert in first, but I'm not going to this time. So all we're going to do is just glue down our front panel. Now I'm using wet glue again because I want a little bit of wiggle room, just a tiny tiny bit of wiggle room. And then I'm just going to flip that over, drop it down and then I can just manoeuvre it to make sure that the borders are even. And then just give that a couple of seconds and then that will grab. So I've got a nice even border all the way around. And the beauty of the collar glue is, is that um, it, it doesn't wrinkle. So with some wet glues it does buckle and wrinkle but the collar doesn't. Or collar doesn't, depending on how you pronounce it, where you're from. So just mop up some of that excess glue that's come off down the sides. So now we've got our brown paper panel. And again, it's up to you whether you put the brown paper on with the lines going across or going down. I'm going to put mine going down only because that's the direction that I want the card to work. So I'm just going to drop that onto the cream. and then just lightly smooth it down just so that the glue grabs but I've still got a little bit of time just to even those borders up so that I'm happy that everything is nicely aligned. Okay so now we've got that. So now we have our vellum layer now for this I'm going to use um, double sided tape. Now it says double sided tape, you remember to get it out. Let's have a look, I did have my double sided tape. Oh, it's one of those things again where it always goes walk about when you least expect it. So we have double sided tape, so I'm just going to put that out of reach. Now I've previously explained before about this deluxe vellum that we sell and the vellum that I'm using, this tape's a bit strong, 
the vellum that we're using is um, it, it's quite you can see through it really really well and it cuts really really well uh, in a die cutting machine um, it also embosses and when you emboss it it goes white which is great so it can be used for um, Pergamano, it can be used for all that kind of stuff, but with it being slightly opaque, it also means that you can use glue and double sided tape and it doesn't show through. Now, I know that's been a big concern for a lot of people for many years using vellum in the projects because you can see whatever you've used to stick it down through it. But with this, you can't. It's completely invisible. Okay, so you can't see the tape there, even though I've not even taken the back off. So all I'm going to do is just quickly remove the back. From that, I'm just going to do the half on half on tr off trick. Make sure no, this doesn't make exactly exciting view exciting viewing for you. Okay. I've often wondered actually when you watch these videos at home, do you want to see everything? Do you want to see the card being constructed, warts and all, as in every step of the way, and have slightly longer videos? Or are you happy for me to skip bits like this? Like taking the backs off foam pads or cutting out or going around the edges with the, uh, the distressing marker pens. Do you want to see that? Is that something that you want to watch? Or are you happy for me to take that out of the video and just speed through it? Um, let me know. You can always leave a comment in the description area or below the description area on YouTube or if you prefer if you go to the Crafty Hands website you can leave me a message you can send me a message through the website and let me know in there I'd love to hear your feedback on um, on what you feel or what you think about these demonstration videos I've been putting these out now for what nearly six months so every um, every week there's been a new video um, and you know it would be lovely to get some feedback from from you um, as to what you feel you're getting out of these videos if it's just entertainment and you're not really taking these seriously you're just watching it for pure entertainment sake watching me make a complete fool of myself then that's fine but if you're actually wanting to gain something from these get a little bit of um, info, tips, tricks, that kind of stuff. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what you want me to show and I will do that. I will make sure that I include in future videos whatever tips, demos, techniques that you would like to see. Okay, so as I said, you can leave a comment in the description area below or below the description area or you can send me an email through the website and I will get it. Okay, so I'm just going to place my main topper over the, that vellum. I'm not going to push down straight away because I want to make sure that I have got that pretty much straight, which I have. So now I can just put a little bit of pressure down. Now because I've stuck that down on vellum, and I've used foam pads, if I have got it wrong, I can take it off again because the vellum will act as a little bit of a non-stick thing to start off with. You know, it will allow you to take it back off again <coughs> if you've made a mistake. Okay, so at this stage I'm going to put the insert in. So I'm just going to open that up, grab the insert, fold it, just fold it in half and lay it on the inside of the card. I'm going to grab some double sided tape and I'm just going to lay that. Now that's the insert. 
So the panel that I've printed where you're going to write your message is on the back. So you, it's the top bit. So I'm going to stick that there. Okay. Now this will ensure that when you when the person who's opening the card when they open it the insert will automatically open too. Now if I'd have stuck the glue or oh, put the tape on that side there where the printed bit is then that top sheet would just lay flat. But because I'm sticking this down making sure I'm lining that up with an equal border all the way around and I'm just going to fold it over and push. So now when I open the card this is a bit tight you can actually put a bit of tape down there if you want to but as you can see it'll loosen up it's only because it's a bit stiff <laughs> okay so we just have our final elements to add down now so we have our vellum topper to add on there so I'm just going to use a couple of foam pads because I want it to be kind of floaty and I'm just going to pop those just on the back of where the um, the pearls are. I'm not quite happy with that one so I'm just going to peel that one off and you can see what I mean about it just coming straight off again and reposition it there that's fine. And then I can position that where I'm happy. Give it a push. And you can see, look, you can't see the foam pads underneath that. How cool is that? So we have a nice sort of ethereally floaty topper. And then we have just our sentiment. And again, I'm just going to stick that on with a foam pad. Just a square one this time, right across the middle, and then just peel the back off. Got no nails today, so. And then I'm just going to pop that in the bottom left hand corner of the card, like so. How beautiful is that? Now, who, or I don't know, of any lady of a certain age um, that wouldn't want to receive that as either an anniversary card, a wedding card, or even an engagement card. Now look how beautiful that is. Now the sentiment just says with all our love, so you could use that to send to any of those three occasions. You could send it for a wedding, you could send it for an anniversary or an engagement. Absolutely. Or even just as a party one. Something to do with a wedding. How beautiful is that? And that vellum just adds that little bit of class, I think. Okay, so finally, all I'm going to do is, because we've got some nice pearls around there, I'm just going to take some stickles, and I'm just going to lightly add tiny, tiny bits. Making sure I've actually got some stickles left. Yeah, it's just coming out now. So I'm just going to add a little blob of glitter all the way around that frame just to add a little bit of glitz. Now you can sit, if you've got the time and you've got the patience, to sit and go around the entire the outside of that panel too, which, you know, would really, really make it stand out and looks as though the other you have spent loads and loads of time doing it. Now, that didn't take long to do. So I will go all the way around the outside and just with a light touch, just literally just dabbing the outside. But I won't make you sit through the entire process, so I will just quickly speed through this and I'll join you right back at the end. And there you go. All done. All beautiful. Now I don't know whether the light's picking up any of that sparkle. It's very difficult to, um, yeah, just think you can just pick that out. How beautiful is that? So there you go. So that's one 
card from the Vintage Treasure CD-ROM. There's the CD just in case. And that's the wedding anniversary stroke engagement card from that CD. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the Crafty Hands YouTube channel, you can do so now by clicking the button at the end of the video and you'll be kept informed of all future tutorials and demonstrations and also product launches now um, and you'll get an email letting you know or a notification letting you know if you're using the app that we've uploaded a new video so don't miss out